Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will learn how to create square customer for WooCommerce order. So now let's suppose that you have a WooCommerce store and whenever you receive a new order in your WooCommerce account, then automatically with the order details received, you want to add that buyer as a customer in your square account. So how we will be performing this integration, we will be using Pabli Connect where our trigger application will be WooCommerce and our action application will be square. So to set up this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will learn how to create Square customer for WooCommerce order. So let's say that you have a WooCommerce store and whenever you receive a new order with the same order details, you want to add that buyer as a customer in your Square account. So to set up this integration, we will be signing into our account. If you don't have an account, so you can click on the sign up for free button and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 tasks for free. But as an existing user, I will click on sign in. And now this is the all applications page by Pabli. So we will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now. So now we have arrived on our dashboard and these are some existing workflows. But to create a new workflow on the right hand side, we will click on this create workflow button. And now in this dialog box appearing, we will give our workflow a suitable name. I have named it as create square customer for WooCommerce order. So now I will click on create. Now we have arrived on a very important window, which consists of trigger and action. Trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect to perform any automation and integration. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. That means to run an integration, we need to have a trigger application and an action application. So now moving on to trigger window. So as our title suggests, that is to create square customer for WooCommerce order. So over here, we will be searching a trigger application as WooCommerce. Here it is. And now after selecting the trigger application, we need to select the trigger event and the trigger event will be new order created. That means whenever a new order will be created in a WooCommerce account, this trigger will start working. So let us select this. Now you can see a webhook URL is given to us and over here there are some steps written that how we will be connecting our WooCommerce account with Pabli Connect. So this is my WordPress dashboard where I have installed my WooCommerce plugin. So now moving on to the settings part, here we will go to advanced. So now you can see in page setup option, you can see REST, API, webhooks and some other options. So we will click on webhooks. So now you can see these are some existing webhooks that were created before. But to create a new webhook, I will click on this add webhook button. I have named it as new webhook WooCommerce and the status will be active. And now the topic I need to select is order created. Now we need to mention the delivery URL. So we will go back to Pabli Connect and we will be copying this webhook URL and we will be pasting the delivery URL over here. After doing this, we will click on save webhook and now you can see the webhook updated successfully. That means a webhook is created. The connection between WooCommerce and Pabli Connect is successful. Moving back to Pabli Connect. So now you can see it has captured a webhook response. So we will click on this recapture webhook response and now we will click on yes. So now you can see it is waiting for webhook response. So that means it is waiting to capture the response from our WooCommerce account. So for that, let me take you to my WooCommerce store. So you can see this is my WooCommerce store that I've already created before. And moving on to this t-shirt, I will be adding this to cart. So now you can see the price and everything. Now I will click on proceed to checkout. Here you can see I have mentioned the billing details already. The first name is demo, last name customer. Mention the company name and the other details as it was asked. So now I will click on place order directly. After doing this, you can see that our order number is generated. That means our order is placed. You can see the email, you can see at what date it was placed and you can see the payment method along with the price. So you can see the billing address as well and the shipping address as well. So this is the order that we have received in a WooCommerce account. So we will be going back to Pabli Connect to see the response that is captured. So now here in Pabli Connect, you can see the response is received. We will scroll down a little bit. You can see the first name, the last name. You can see the shipping country along with the address details that were filled in. You can see the payment method along with some other details. 
So now you can see that the response is successfully captured over here with all the details that were mentioned in our WooCommerce account. So now moving on to our next step that is to select the action application. So over here we will be selecting our action application as square. So we will search for it and here it is. Now we need to select the action event that will be to create a new customer. So now after selecting both of them, we need to establish a connection between Square and Pabli Connect. So we will click on connect. And now if you have an existing connection, you can go with it. But if you don't have it, you can directly click on add new connection. And then over here, you need to mention the token. So now where we will be finding this token. So now read the instruction carefully that says log into your developer dashboard, choose an application and toggle to production account and there you can find your access tokens by clicking on credentials. So over here, I will click on this hyperlink and now you can see these are my applications. So I will go to this demo application. So now over here under production credentials is written and this is my production access token. I will click on show. Here is the token and I will copy the token and go back to my Pabli Connect account and I will paste the token over here. So now I will click on save. So you can see it is connected. That means Square and Pabli Connect are integrated successfully. So now moving on to details like first name, last name, email address along with some other details. So here what we are going to do is instead of adding the data manually, we are going to map the data. So now what is mapping? Mapping is basically inserting the data from the previous step because we want to use this particular response in order to create the customer. So now we will have to map the response from a previous step that was WooCommerce when a new order was created. We will select the data from the drop down. So moving on to first name, we will search it over here. Here it is. Now going to last name. So why are we using mapping? We are using mapping because we want whenever a new order is created in our WooCommerce account and the response is captured here in Public Connect, then automatically these fields should be replaced with the new data. And if we are going to add the order details manually, then the fields will not be replaced with the new data because the workflow will get stuck due to dynamic details because then the data will become static and it will not change. So in order to automate the entire process without doing any manual step, we have to use mapping. So now moving on to the other details, we are going to map it again from the response that we have received. So now moving on to the email address, here it is, moving to phone number. So as you can see, the address line and the address city and along with the address date, these are not the mandatory fields. But if you have received the response, you can map it, but the address country is required. It is a necessary part. So now in our re previous response, we have received the address along with the city and everything. So we will map that as well. Address line one is mapped, now address line two. Now moving on to address country, it is a required field. So we will map the same response. Here it is. So now I will click on the save and send test request. And after doing that, we will go to our square account to see the customer that is created. So you can see the response is received whenever an ID is generated. That means this was a success. So you can see a customer ID is generated and at what time it was generated. You, you can see the details like first name, last name, along with some other details like mail ID and etc. So let me take you to my square account and then we will go to customers. Here you can see the customer is created. The name is demo customer. You can see the mail ID along with the phone number. So that means the customer is created successfully in our square account and this integration was successful. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at and if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.